So the first way we usually start thinking about graphing is by making a t-table. So we're going to work on graphing lines by plotting points that we find in our t-table. So I have two examples here. The first one, y equals 2x minus 4. So remember, the graph represents all of the solution values, all of the solutions to this equation. All of the ordered pairs that if you plugged them in would make that true. Well, we don't want to find all of them. We just want to find three or four. So here's the part that most students don't like. You need to choose some x values or some y values. Typically, we choose x because that sort of sets us up for functions that come later. Kind of a good rule of thumb is you take a couple of negative ones, a couple of positive ones, and zero is always a nice one. So look, we're going to find five points five ordered pairs that work in this equation. Then we will plot them and connect them. Hopefully they will end up on the line. So let's see. When we have x equals negative 2, we plug that into the equation, and then the equation tells us what the y partner has to be. So if x is negative 2, so here's our little workspace, y is 2 that's there, times negative 2, the value we're plugging in for x, minus 4. So let's go ahead and do that math in our heads. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, minus 4 more is negative 8. So this corresponds to the ordered pair, negative 2, negative 8, which we would then plot. So negative 2, oh, negative 8's off my page. It's down here somewhere. Okay, let's get the next one. If x is negative 1, what's its y partner? So we're going to plug a negative 1 in this time. So 2 times negative 1, go ahead and finish that off, negative 8, minus 4. What's that one? So now I have 2 times negative 1, negative 2, minus 4 more, negative 6. So that point, negative 1, negative 6. Okay, that one I can actually put on my graph. There it is. Remember negative 1 to the left, 6 down. If x is positive 1, can we do that one in our heads? x is positive 1, 2 times 1 is 2, minus 4 gives me a value of negative 2, so we'll go ahead and plot that one. 1, negative 2. If x is 2, the 2 goes in where the x is, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 4, there's a 0, you just found your x-intercept, 2, 0, there's that point. And if x is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, minus 4 is negative 4. So we're filling in that dot in between. Now this graph goes on in both directions, so go ahead and line them up. Look, they all line up nicely and connect them. So we only found five points, but every other point on that line is a solution to that equation. So now let's look at my second example. y equals negative one-half x plus two. So again, we need to choose some x's. But let's think about the x's that we're going to choose. If we choose x equals one, I want you to mentally think through what that's going to do to us. If x is one, 1 times negative 1 half is negative 1 half, plus 2. Well, now I'm doing math with fractions, and then I'm going to try to plot fractions on my graph. That doesn't seem very fun to me. So to get, to avoid that, to avoid that, I'm going to choose x values, that 2 that this denominator goes into. So you might be thinking, can I do that? Can I really just choose different x values? Absolutely. The x's are yours to choose. The equation will then tell us what the y partner has to be. So let's look at the x's I'm going to choose. I'm going to take x is negative 4. I'm going to take x is negative 2. x is 0. And I might get tired sooner on this one, so I'll just do four points this time. So if x is negative 4, again, we're going to go to our equation, and it's going to tell us what the y partner has to be. So y is negative 1 half times x, currently being played by negative 4, plus 2. 
So negative 1 half times negative 4, so the two negatives multiply to give you a positive. The 2 and the 4 go in, right? These guys canceled. 2 plus 2 is 4. So that's the ordered pair, negative 4, 4. So find that one on your graph. Looks like it's right there on mine. If x is negative 2, y is negative 1 half times negative 2 plus 2. Again, the 2's cancel, negatives cancel. That's a 1, not a 0, be careful. 1 plus 2 is 3. So the ordered pair that we plot is the xy pair, negative 2, positive 3. If x is 0, wipes out that whole fraction, y value is 2. And if x is 2, let's do it in our heads, the 2's cancel. I'm left with a negative 1 plus 2 is a positive 1. Two. 1. If you would get one of the points that didn't line up, you'd go back and you'd check your arithmetic on that point. They should all be on the same line, right, because we had a linear equation, x to the first power, y to the first power.